What's up, beautiful people? It's Anna on It's an Amazing Life We Live, coming to you every Tuesday, Central Time here in Chicago, but we are worldwide at Pop Radio Worldwide, so do the math. Do the math, everybody. Thank you. So remember, it's 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Time every Tuesday, so tune in on a Tuesday. Get my two cents. This is a motivational podcast. We're going to be featuring athletes of the week, entrepreneurs of the week, angels of the week. And we're going to be focusing on health and wellness tips, mindset training, brain training, helping you live your best amazing life. A little bit about me. I am your host. My name is Anna Marie Tabo, but you can call me Anna. That's with two N's. Um, if you do want to be on my show and if you want to submit anything, if you feel like you can help motivate people and help people live their best amazing life and go ahead and email me your submissions at anna a n n a tabo at t at gmail.com so just listen up if you if you are feeling what we're what we're spinning here if we're if we're inspiring you and you want to help motivate as well just connect with me and if you don't get a response right away which i will respond within 24 hours but if you if i can't make you in the show right away don't get discouraged i'm all about empowering people and the people of the community and raising everybody up so on it's an amazing life we live tonight we are going to be talking on some um, uncomfortable but uncomfortable topics but some topics that I think we need to you know bring more awareness to so that people are more comfortable talking about it and people are more open to reaching out for help and I wanted to talk more about mental health mental health awareness I know it was um, I think it was September that that was suicide prevention month but it is December and the reason why I want to touch up on this is because I don't know about where you are listening in the world but I am from sh the windy city of Chicago and it is very very cold today at least for me it is and I didn't want to go out anywhere and I know around this time I can be very susceptible to you know I do have um, a past with mental health illness and like having depressive episodes and anxiety disorder so you know I don't like to be in the closet about that anymore I like to tell people that I've had problems with that and I've not only have I overcome it but I've been able to thrive and be a better person and help others try to reach out for help um, the more that you're aware about it, the more people talk about it, the more people will reach out for help. So that's what I wanted to touch up on today. And I have some amazing guests on the panel that will be helping me talk about it. So let me just introduce them real quick and then we'll get into more detail with them because there's some amazing ladies here on my panel on It's an Amazing Life We Live. So first, I just want to introduce our, well, she's actually a little bit of everything. This is why I wanted to bring her to the show. Her name is Miss Allie Burkhardt. I'm saying that correctly? Yes, you got it. Into the mic, Miss. Oh. <laughs> uh, Allie is an athlete, entrepreneur, and an angel. So I, she's a girl who just has it all wrapped up in one, which is why I wanted to bring her in the show and put some focus on her because she has, she's not only a great athlete and a great person and has like an infectious smile. Beautiful, she got that good hair. Yeah, Look at that hair. Me. Come on, guys. <laughs> No, I'm here to gas people up. I'm sorry. Like, I got a full tank. I'm ready to give some up. So, but Allie Burkhart here is, she's an amazing woman because um, she has quite the story behind how fitness has saved her life. So, go ahead and say hi to the people of the world and, um, you know, tell them how the, I mean... Tell them how your day's been so far <laughs> with this cold weather. How have you been coping? Um, okay, well, coping. it's miserable, and I decided to go downtown, which was a big mistake. Oh, but, it's cold um, downtown. God much warmer you. in here. <laughs> much, uh, much better atmosphere in here, that's for sure. No, I want to say thank you for having me on the show in the first place and all the incredibly kind things you just said about me. Um, my cheeks are bright red now, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to dive into this, and hopefully we do some talking today that helps somebody and um, at least touches someone or, you know, makes someone a little more aware or just get some positivity out there. For sure. I'm all about bringing positive vibes to the table around the world to anybody that's listening. So again, you guys got to be following uh, Pop Radio Worldwide on iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium, YouTube, and on Tuesdays, I'm here, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m., you get to 
speak to, well, you don't really get to speak. I get to speak to and see beautiful girls, but <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guys. I don't, mean to, I don't mean to rub it in, but it is a good show, and you can be here in spirit by listening. So please tune in 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. Central Time because you will be missing, if you don't, you'll be missing out on some really cool people that have a lot to say, and it will change your life, I promise. If, if it won't change your life, it'll touch your life at least. So I'm going to be going next chair down the panel and her name well why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to to the world hi um my name is jocelyn perez um motto and a future business owner here so clearly she's quite the entrepreneur as well so we're going to be talking about that and we're going to have her input on some of the topics that we're going to be brushing up on today so um, thank you for having uh, thank you, thank you yeah. for having your presence here. Thank you, ladies. Um, so today, like I said, um, we are going to be talking about mental health care, mental health um, awareness, and things of that matter. Because a lot of people do not talk about it because there's a negative stigma attached to it, right? I mean, I know when I first had problems and had to first go to a therapist back when I, I went to University of Illinois in Champaign and I guess it was a culture shock to me because I hadn't been away from home, I hadn't been around different, um, you know, different ethnicities of people before like that and I felt like I was the minority in that group and you know, I also was, I came from a strict household, so when I went out there, like, it was almost like too much for me in the world, and I guess, you know, I partied hard, I'm not gonna lie, guys, I, you know, I come a long way, but back then I was a party girl, and sometimes I hung around with the wrong people, and do, you hang out with the wrong people, you do the wrong things, sometimes you do the wrong things, you have to deal with the consequences, and some of those consequences for me were mental health, you know, it, it, ruined not ruined you know what I'm not gonna say ruined because every step of my life every part of my life has been has built me up to the person that I am now and has shaped me to be the person that I'm meant to be and I'm still evolving every day so I'm not regretful of that and especially since I'm able to talk to a big mass of people now about it and hopefully if I could just touch one person to talk about it because you know I know for a fact anytime I tell people you know yeah I've, I've had problems with major depressive disorder you know generalized anxiety disorder people are like what I would never guess you're so happy I'm like you know what? It happens all the time. Look at all the people that we've lost. Those are the people that have it most. Exactly. Robin Williams, you know, recipes, everybody. Um, who was that um, guy that traveled the world to eat everything? What was his name? John. And I can see him, but I don't know. I can name. see him. It's gonna get it's gonna come back to me. But my point is people are very good at masking it and um, and it's a good thing to act strong, but at the same time, we need to be able to express ourselves, have an outlet, reach out, and really connect it with each other so that we can help raise each other up. Um, so we're going to touch up more on that um, when we get back. But again, this is Anna. This is Anna on It's an Amazing Life We Live. So you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram on it's an amazing life we live. And we're going to be talking to some beautiful ladies. First up is going to be Miss Allie Burkhart. She is an athlete, an entrepreneur, an angel. But I will let her tell her story herself when we get back. So again, I'll, I'm here every Tuesday from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Time in the windy city of Chicago. But we're reaching out to all areas and all temperatures. So I'm happy, happy, happy that you guys are all listening. And thank you. And we'll be right back. I done did a lot, a lot. You ain't did shit at all. Whipping up a pop, pop. Show you how to get it off. I don't really rock. What's up, everybody? We are back, and I am your host, Miss Anna, on It's an Amazing Life We Live, coming at you every Tuesday. <laughs> Every Tuesday from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Time. So do the math. Just put it in your phone. Everybody has smartphones, so you the smartphone figured out for you what what time to to listen in on iHeartRadio. Follow Pop Radio worldwide on iHeartRadio. Actually, we're everywhere. We're on Spotify Premium. We're on YouTube. So go ahead and follow, like, subscribe, show us some love, give us some feedback. 
We're always trying to improve, guys. So let us know what we can do better, and we'll definitely keep in contact with you guys. We want to give you guys what you want and help empower each other and raise each other up. Now, if you are just joining in, this week on It's an Amazing Life We Live, my motivational podcast featuring athletes of the week, entrepreneurs of the week, and angels of the week, I will be brushing up on some topics today, mainly focusing on mental health. Here in Chicago, in the Midwest, in, you know, in North America, it's really, really cold. This is the time when the days are really short, the nights are long. By 5 p.m., it's really dark outside, and it can definitely be depressing. It makes you look outside, not want to even leave the bed. And I'm not gonna even. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm a motivational speaker, and I always talk about like waking up with purpose and wake up early and get stuff done. But I have my days too. We're all human, right? So, when, <laughs> for real, like I mean, sometimes you have to be your own best cheerleader. You know, if. Not everybody has somebody to motivate them and, you know, who's the motivational, you know, person for me when I need motivation, you know? So, you know, everybody has them, whether it's Tony Robbins, Eric Thomas, all the, you know, motivational speakers in the world, they all have their pockets that they can go dig into to give their dose of motivation if they're, if they're lacking in it that day. Everybody has their days. So around this time, guys... When it's winter and it just, when I wake up and it's dark and then when I go home it's dark and it's just constantly dark. I, I know for me, I don't really feel like doing anything. Um, I'm more, I mean I was born in May, I'm a summertime baby. How about you guys? Like, July. July. February. Yeah, so you know, warmer seasons, well I don't know, February is really cold yeah, in no, Chicago. That's, that's like okay, well I'm a spring baby guys, so you know, I like it when things bloom and when I just see everything dead on the ground. Like fall is okay, at least it's pretty, but then when it's like this dead, I'm talking about like when there's no snow and everything's just dead. For me at least, I'm really, I'm really susceptible to having what they call seasonal depression. Now seasonal depression, some people may not think it's real, but I personally, at least for me, I know that I have dealt with it when the seasons change and there's not as much sunlight, you're not getting enough vitamin D, you don't feel like being as productive, you feel like staying in bed more, you're more lethargic, you just want to eat all the carbs and sleep all the time. But then you can't do that because you got to work because it's a holiday season and you got to, you know, this is, this is the time of the year. It's stressful for a lot of people. It's all happy and jolly. But honestly, I don't know about you guys. The holidays can stress me out. And when I stress, I tend to want to eat. I tend to want to just run away from my problems or just hide in bed. So I wanted to get into some tips on how to, you know, combat that and try to, you know, prevent yourself from falling into a hole because it all starts with habits. Am I right? You know, it all starts with habits, what you do every single day. So what you make a habit, whether it be, you know, something like making your bed, something uh, bigger, like doing cardio every morning or even just meditating, what you choose to do every day, especially the first hour of your day will shape your whole day. Okay. So I was thinking yesterday, yesterday's Monday, today's Tuesday, so I was thinking, you know, I usually do a Monday motivational post and all my, you know, all my social medias like Instagram, Facebook, and I was thinking about the three M's. I don't know how I came up with this, but if you have a pen and paper, you should probably write it down. I think it's genius, but maybe it's just me and this is my show and I can say whatever I want to say. No, I think it's genius. So I have the three M's, okay? Um, that you want to check up on yourself to help with your mental health every single day, especially around this time when it can be stressful. So every day, I want you to make it a point to move, to meditate, and to motivate. So those are, those are the three M's. I'm going to say that one more time if you guys do decide to write it down. Um, pay attention. Yes, I love that. Pay attention. So my three M's for motivating yourself every single day, not just a Monday, I just came up with it on a Monday, but this is every day. I want you to move, I want you to meditate, and I want you to motivate. So I'm going to delve into that a little bit. So by move, I mean obviously literally physically move. Um, I forgot where I heard this from. I believe it's, I mean, I listen to a lot of motivational podcasts, guys, so 
um, this is that's what inspired me to do this in the first place because that's something that helped me get my life together you know the older you get I mean I'm not old I'm not gonna date myself but you know the older you get you're like man how can I fix this you know <laughs> you know you're buying all the books to try to speed things up you're like oh man I wasted so much time you know I feel like my whole shelf is a section of self-help you know in Barnes and Nobles like it's just <laughs> self-improvement books which there's nothing wrong with that but I want to help you jump the learning curve so the first one is move okay move every single day even if it's just 15 minutes a day you don't have to be a fitness professional but studies have shown it is scientifically proven the more you move the more your brain grooves okay the more you move the more your brain grooves so it is proven that when you are physically active you release endorphins you release serotonin you are literally a happier person so even if it doesn't feel like it or you may feel kind of odd or stupid doing something even if you don't feel like doing it your brain sometimes cannot tell the difference between what it's feeling so if you're running and doing something that your body is used to doing when it's excited um, it's gonna give that signal to your brain that you know that something good is happening okay um, but it's it's good for your health it's gonna make you feel good about yourself and then the, the second is meditate. I, ha I personally have a meditation app on my phone. Um, it's called, I believe it's called Calm. There's a bunch of apps that you can download. I mean, even if it's just five minutes a day, you can even look up on YouTube. And I'm not paid to like right now to, you know, advertise anybody. This is, per this is honestly just advice I'm giving you guys that I do every single day. I try to, and if I don't, I feel off. I try to meditate every single day. Even if it's five minutes, you can literally YouTube five minute meditation practices and it'll be like a five minute morning meditation. All you got to do is put it on and you just, you know, close your eyes and you go, you know, just lay down, listen to it for five minutes, start your day off right. And the last is motivate. Now, if you're not exactly a motivational speaker, you're not the most motivated person, I don't mean that you actually have to motivate somebody. If you're not there yet, what you can do is listen to something motivational or watch something, um, listen to something, read something that will help motivate you in some way to get up from your bed, even when it's cold, even when you're tired, even when you really don't feel like doing anything. So um, we're going to be brushing up on those topics some more. But those are my three tips, guys. My three tips, uh, not just on a Monday, but to help motivate you every single day. Health and wellness tips, especially for this time of the year when it can be stressful, when it's cold outside in some areas of the world. I know it's really cold today in Chicago, and I had so much to do and did not want to do any of it because it was cold. But I want you to, one, move, two, meditate, three, motivate. Again, that's move, meditate, and motivate every single day to help improve your mental health and your mental clarity and to help you live your best amazing life. My name is Anna Marie Tabo. Again, I am your host. It's an amazing life. It's an amazing life we live, and I'm here every Tuesday from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Time. Make sure to follow Pop Radio Worldwide on iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium, YouTube. Make sure you're hitting the like, subscribe, comment, show us some love. Definitely tune in. There's some great shows throughout the week. If you want to be on my show, go ahead and email me at Anna Tabo, A-N-N-A-T-A-B-O at gmail.com. If you want to be an athlete, entrepreneur, or if you want to be one of my angels of the week, just go ahead and submit your headshot, um, send me your content, and I'll definitely connect with you. So we will be right back, and we're going to be talking some more to Miss Ellie Burkhardt. We'll be right back. I done did a lot, a lot. You ain't did shit at all. Whipping up a pop, pop. Show you how to get it off. I don't merely rock, rock. What's up, everybody? This is Anna. We are back on It's an Amazing Life We Live, my motivational podcast coming at you every Tuesday from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Time. So you do the math. 
ask Siri what time to watch me. Just make sure it's 8 p.m. Central Time every Tuesday. Follow Pop Radio Worldwide at iHeartRadio, Spotify Premium, and YouTube so that you're not missing this amazing content. I'm help I'm helping you. I'm aimed here to help you live your best amazing life. Um, I want to share health and wellness tips. I want to help you with some brain training, mindset training, so that you become an efficient person, successful, driven, focused, and so that you live your best amazing life. Um, so every week I do feature athletes of the week, entrepreneurs of the week, and angels of the week. So if you want to be on my show, go ahead and email me at Anna. That's a two N's to uh, a Tabo T A B O at gmail.com. Again, that's Anna Tabo at gmail.com. So I brushed up on some topics before we went on break, and we were just talking about mental health and how during the summer, not the summer, the winter season, at least for me and for a lot of the people, um, statistically, a lot of people tend to fall into sometimes a depressive disorder, uh, not disorder, but the depressive episode, or they feel lethargic, they don't feel as motivated as they do in the summer season, spring season when the sun is out and the days are longer. Um, so I just wanted to talk to my panel about that. Um, what is your input on what what is your stance on how mental health is different from season to season do you think that's a real thing or you know do you do absolutely. you personally yeah absolutely i mean i i know for myself um i'm genuinely a very like outgoing um relatively pretty happy person all the time um but especially in the winter months it's, it's the lack of light you know the fact that like you don't want to go outside like she was mentioning earlier because it's so cold it just makes you start to become more tired and then the tiredness leads to sadness and it just starts to spiral down and I've noticed that even within myself over the last couple years especially uh, moving here to Chicago it's even more gloomy than I've like been exposed to before and um, I just know that like when that happens you just have to find ways like they're her three M she's shared with you earlier um, of combating that, like not allowing yourself to be succumbed to depression from this, you know, bad season. But the fact that it, it's real, like I, I completely agree with like. So since we're on the same page as that, um, what are some tips that you can personally give people? I gave mine, but is there any some, something that you specifically do to try to combat it? It's a, you said that you're not originally from Chicago, right? You're from... Mm -hmm. I'm from Indiana. Indiana. Um, so it's still cold there too, right? Yeah, it's yeah. not even far. It's only like um, three hours away from here. Okay. But it's enough of a difference. Just like, I don't know why Chicago just seems so much more gloomy <laughs> than where I'm from. I don't know why three hours seems to be all the difference. Well, so what are, what are some things that you have you know, started to do over the years once the season starts to kick in and you start to have those feelings? Like, what are some things that you do that you maybe want to share with the world if they're starting to struggle during this season? Um, I think two things um, personally help me, and I try to, at least the one recommended to others, to um, find something you enjoy doing. Um, I personally enjoy the gym. It's, like, my favorite part of the day. No matter what kind of mood I am, no matter how tired I am, whatever it may be, I'm gonna make it there. Um, just because when I leave, I feel like a whole new woman. So basically, I, I really recommend finding something you like to do, whether it be um, dance, or you like to go listen to you know concerts, or I don't know, shows, like anything that you enjoy doing, find a way to like do something you enjoy doing every day, and make yourself do it. Because the, the hardest part is getting yourself to do it, just like going to the gym they say the hardest part is going getting yourself there as long as you force yourself to do something you usually 90% of the time feel better afterward so I feel like that's the first step like get yourself out there um, good advice good advice yeah. um, I wanted to bring uh, the mic to Miss Jesselyn is that how you say your name yeah Jesselyn so what is your stance on mental health and whether seasonal depression is a real thing or not you know what, it, it's funny that I'm here today, it must have been a calling, because until like 
right now that's something I'm dealing with mm -hmm. really hard. So listening to you guys' story, it's it's actually helping me out as well. Good. I'm glad. Um, what I've been taught to do is meditate, breathing exercises, uh, surrounding your people, surrounding yourself by positive people. Um, just recently went through something in the summer and I'm starting to get out more, you know, and like live a little, starting self-love before I learn to love anybody else and yeah, like Good. the winter, it's really dark, so I'm more by myself Yes, now. I mean, you know, especially, I know there's a lot of people out there, you may not have a family, you know, it's the holiday season, so sometimes if you've recently lost someone, or you're going through a breakup, or just, you know, you lost someone in your family, sometimes the holidays can actually be the loneliest time. It's like, that's when the depression can come out more, because you're missing that person, you can't spend time with the person that you lost, so... Um, I definitely want to reach out to everybody that's cold out there and you know, you're not alone. Someone's here listening to you. Um, you just got to speak up. If you are in a dark place, not just literally, but in your head, there is a light outside of it. I'm living proof of that. Um, just this time last year, I honestly was not in the greatest place mentally. Um, and actually, Miss Allie, you know, I had conversations with her before because she and I actually have the same coach. I know I keep bringing people on my team. You know, got to bring the squad. <laughs> got to bring the you squad here. You know, I roll deep with my team from the Export Brickyard. Shout out to you guys. But um, Miss Allie here, she, she knew that um, I was going through some things and I wasn't uh, really going to the gym that much around this time last year. And it was because my mindset was off. Um, mentally, I wasn't there literally you know I just didn't really feel like doing anything it was a winter time everything that I loved doing see that's the thing with depression um, the things that you normally love doing they don't even feel the same anymore that's what's messed up about that's 100% it true. that's what's messed up so when you say to people I know Ali was saying like do something you love to do but sometimes it's hard even the stuff to that you to, yeah. you know to even if you know what you like to do and love to do when you're really 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 down I'm talking about I don't even know how to describe it. When you're really, really down like that, like... You feel, like, heavy, no energy. You're heavy. Yeah. You don't have energy for the things that you even love. You don't even want to talk to your best friend. Like, you yeah. don't even have energy. You just want to... I don't know. For me, I just want to go to sleep. Because yeah. I don't want to deal with anything, you know? And I know that when I went through that type of pain, I wanted to make sure that... Um, if and when I always, I always knew deep down that I was going to get out of those holes, um, that it was just a part of my life that I had to go through. I'm a big believer in God, big believer in signs. And I believe that God had put some obstacles in front of me literally to make me stronger so that I can fit the big shoes that he's giving me right now. Um, so with that said, this time last year, I was barely leaving the house. I was blowing through. I'm going to get personal with you guys. I was blowing through my savings account because I didn't feel like working anymore because I was that depressed, you know? And luckily, I had some, you know, I had some money stashed away where I, I could be like, you know what? I can just take a little break. You know, I can't even deal with people anymore. But then, you know, money starts to run out <laughs> when you do that, you know? And, you know, I had to go back to work, pull up my my big girl pants and you know I'm 32 years old guys I can't just ignore life you know I can't just be like oh I don't feel like going to school today I'm like the school of what life because that's you know you need to go to work you got to pay your bills you got to live your life people depend on you um, so I know personally that how dark it can get so for anybody that's listening that is you know either trying to stay motivated or maybe you're just really in a dark place and you're trying to get motivated you're trying to light that spark up back in your brain so that you feel like living again you know i really hope you guys keep tuning in every tuesday um 8 p.m to 9 p.m central time here on pop radio worldwide just follow on iHeartRadio, radio spotify premium youtube this is what i like to talk about guys i like to talk about stuff i mean i like to laugh but then i also like to st talk about stuff that's real i mean this is i mean if you don't think this is real just you know look at the news every day there's people dying from suicide every single day people od i mean people ODing on drugs because they're trying to self-medicate um, with their mental health issues and whatever um, maybe going on in their life. So if you do need any sort of help, please, please, please reach out. Um, luckily, um, luckily for me, and I know I can't speak for everyone, for me, I've gotten better about asking for help. Mm -hmm. And that's like a huge, huge step. 
is asking Absolutely. for help. You know, if you're feeling off, if you're feeling like you're starting to go a little deeper than you thought, like, you know, sometimes you get in a little funk and then you shake it off after a week. But then when it starts to get like, and eh, it's been a couple weeks now, a couple weeks turns into a couple months, you know, it's okay to ask for help. It doesn't mean you're weak, guys. It means that you're acknowledging your problem and you're trying to fix it. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. So with that said, um, I'm, we're going to be taking a little break because um, I've, been, I've been talking a little much. I'm a little parched, guys. So, But we're going to be talking some more to Miss Allie Burkhart. We're going to talk about how fitness saved her life. Um, since we are talking about mental health, um, mental health care, a lot of it is also, it's all intertwined. So, I mean, obviously this is health and wellness tips. Um, a lot of you guys know me as a fitness competitor. I'm a bikini pro in the INBA, PNBA. And um, obviously I love working out, but it's deeper than that. It helps me mentally. And this is what we're going to talk about because it's definitely helped Miss Allie Burkhart. Hard. So she is our athlete of the week, entrepreneur of the week, and our angel of the week because she's she's got it all. Um, so we will be right back. Make sure you tune in every Tuesday, 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. Central Time on It's an Amazing Life We Live. I done did a lot, a lot. You ain't did shit at all. Whipping up a pop, pop. Show you how to get it off. I don't mean it. What's up, guys? We are back on It's an Amazing Life We Live. I am your host, Anna Marie Tabo, coming from the windy city of Chicago, but we are Pop Radio Worldwide. Go ahead and follow Pop Radio Worldwide on iHeartRadio, YouTube. Spotify Premium, make sure to follow on all social medias, make sure to follow on Instagram so that you know what's going on. There's a bunch of shows all week and I'm one of them. So you got to tune in every Tuesday from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Central Time on It's an Amazing Life We Live. It's a motivational podcast, guys. I'm here to help you live your best amazing life, health and wellness tips, brain training, mindset training, and I like to bring in guests that have a lot of substance to them that I feel like definitely need recognition because they work hard and I feel like they can make a difference in this world. So with that said, I'm going to be talking more to Miss Allie Burkhart. She is an athlete, a figure competitor, originally from India. <laughs> Indiana, moved to Chicago. How long ago did you move to Chicago? Um, it's going on four years now. Four like years. That. Okay. What made you move to Chicago? Um, I am from a small town, and there's not a lot of opportunity there. And I just knew I was not destined to be, live my life there. I needed, you know, exposure. You wanted city and, and yeah. lights and more people. I yeah, get it. I get it. Definitely. So were you always into fitness, or when did it come about into your life? Definitely not. Um, I would like no fitness ability whatsoever. Never played a sport in my life. Nothing. Um, it came to me in the most crazy of ways and it has become my life. Okay, so I want to delve more into that. So what, I mean, how old are you now? When did you start getting into fitness or when did you start thinking, oh, maybe I'm going to go to the gym? Like what sport did you start with? Um, so I'm 26 right now, um, and around 22, um, discovered the gym. Like I said, never played a sport, still can't play a sport to save my life. Um, but bodybuilding, I've got. Um, but no, I, I stepped foot in the gym around 22, um, and wanted to get away from the cardio section. Um, what I'll tell you later is, like, I lived in the cardio section. So, um, wanted to branch out and learn something different. I wanted to be strong instead of just skinny. So picked up some weights and asked my friend for some help and the rest is just and I know you guys can't see her right now but once the YouTube video is up and you're watching this she is a beautiful beautiful girl oh definitely gotta follow her um, you know I actually before she became my teammate I knew a little bit about her because I actually I think I ran across your page your Instagram page like I think it just like rolled through my feed or something like that and I was definitely impressed um, the thing with her, you know, obviously not just beautiful, she's a beautiful girl, beautiful photos, you definitely work with some awesome photographers. Um, I mean, when you sent me just some of the photos that I could use for promos, I was like, oh wow, these are gorgeous. She's a very um, talented photographer yes. behind those. <laughs> so, I mean, I was impressed because she's all about body positivity, and then when I saw your transformation photos, that's what really got me. 
Um, so tell us your background with, so you talked about how you were always in the cardio section, you're trying to get away from that. So what, why were you always in the cardio section? Um, so around basically my whole um, six-ish years of my late teens, early 20s, um, it's kind of just miserable for me. Um, I struggled with my like reflection in the mirror. I didn't even like being in my own skin. Um, I don't I don't really know why I wasn't like super heavy set or anything. Um, I just didn't like I don't know. There's something I didn't like about my body, so I decided I was gonna fix it. Um, but by doing that, I started out you know just doing cardio and doing what I needed to do to lose those you know 10 pounds that you want to lose so you feel like that's gonna be your goal weight, your body weight, you know whatever. Well, I noticed I was like really good at pushing myself. I could go an extra 20 minutes. I could go an extra, you know, two days this week. Like, I would so you were a cardio thing. bunny. Yeah, like for sure. So, um, and then I pushed that even further. I could go an hour a day. I could go two hours a day. And then it became, I loved getting skinnier and skinnier. And I see that I had control over just really like pushing myself and, you know, morphing my body how I wanted to. And it just became also a war with food. Um, it wasn't just a war with the gym, it became a war with food. Um, because I noticed, obviously, when you cut back your calories, you also decrease weight. So I would cut back my calories more and more and more, um, to eventually I developed severe anorexia. Um, was eating maybe tops, two, three hundred calories a day, and exercising a thousand of those on the treadmill. Um, wow. Just basically eating myself alive just by working out. Like my body was eating myself. You know what I mean? Just because mm -hmm. I was burning too much to sustain even. So when did you realize that you maybe had like a problem? Um, I mean, I think I knew I had a problem just a year into it. Um, but when I admitted it, it wasn't until like three years later. Um, so tell me how bodybuilding has changed your perspective on yourself, your self-reflection, and how you see food now. Um, so I, I think I just got to, I got really sick and I was just in and out of treatment centers and things and I just got to a point where I was so tired of just like living with my own, you know, self-inflicted disease kind of. Um, so like I said, I went in and I got my, you know, start in, in lifting weights and things. And then I realized, like, I can take this, you know, want for this need to, like, control my body and, and everything, um, but make it strong. Like I said, strong, not skinny. I think that's a hashtag I use all the time just because, like, that. I don't want to be the skinny person anymore. I want to be strong as possible. Um, and that goes not only physically but mentally. And the gym and lifting weights just really does that for me in a way that I've never experienced before. So you competed before, correct? You're a figure mm -hmm. competitor. Um, so you've competed a couple times. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about your um, career so far with the INBA, PNBA. Um, so I stepped back. I did two shows um, and then I loved it. I found out that competing is totally something I completely enjoy. Um, pushing myself past the limits, I do that very well, but I, this is in a healthy way. This is pushing myself to be the best I can be. Um, and I didn't think I'd like it too because I don't like being the center of attention. I don't like any of that stuff, but that's also this um, competing has done that for me, has like made me come out of my shell and like realize like Look I at am. you on iHeartRadio. <laughs> right. Exactly. Pop radio worldwide now. Look and at you now. Doing modeling shoots and things like I would never ever do before. It challenges you. Um, yeah, right? so it put me in, and it just exposed me to, like, the fact that I am, you know, like, I can do these things, you know? Um, so, and, but I took a step back, and I'm, I'm about to dive back in this year, so. Okay, yeah. so when can we see you on stage again? I'm thinking April. April. Mm -hmm. Maybe the Illinois State. That's we in Chicago. See. We'll see. We'll see. So you guys <laughs> definitely have to follow her, show her some love. Where can we find you, Miss Allie? Um, so you can find me on Instagram as Miss Allie Jean, and it's M I S S A L I G E A N, and you can find me on Facebook um, with my name Allie Burkhardt as well. Um, I'm only on those two social media platforms, but um, if you want to reach out to me through one of those two, I will gladly answer anything. So. All right. Any um, message you want to you know say to the people of the world regarding? you know, health, wealth, fitness, anything that you want to say 
before you give your shout outs. <laughs> oh my goodness, all this pressure. Um, <laughs> basically, I, I just want to piggyback on what you were saying, and that's the most important thing I wanted to like, um, what I like to do with my social media platform too is like use it as a way to um, help others who have struggled with what I've struggled with. So basically, like if you do have a problem um, with you know an eating disorder, um, depression, um, any sort of like disordered behavior, and you know it, and you need help, make sure to reach out. And, and that may be someone who's professional, maybe a family member, whatever. And you might even, I get people who reach out to me, um, and th I'm not a professional by any means, but just sharing my story, like the details of it, and then they can relate, and then how I combated it, and things like that. It's just really nice to be able to um, be any sort of like help or anything like that. And there's so many other people who feel the same way. I know Anna feels the same way too. So I know there are people. That's why I have this show, guys. Yeah. I, I aspire yeah. to inspire. I know that I was in a rough spot last year, and I just wanted to make sure that I, when I got out of it, I was going to help bring people up with me. Yeah. So, um, with that said, I mean, thank you so much, Miss Ellie, for being here yes, this evening. Me. Are there any shout outs you want to give to people? Um, I do want to shout out to my photographer since she messaged or she mentioned him. Um, his Instagram is a boy named Jamil, J A M I L. Very talented photographer. Um, and you just for having me on the Aww. radio show. Pop over here for having me as well. And that's okay. about it. Well, with that said, make sure you follow Miss Allie Burkhardt on Instagram and on Facebook. If they want to book you, if anybody wants to book you for a photo shoot, personal training sessions of any sort, do they just slide in your DMs? Or, oh, okay, yeah. Like, so, how, how do we book you? How uh, do we work with you, girl? My business email is AllieB365. It's A-L-I-B-365 at Hotmail. Um, I do most of my bookings through that. So. All right. Well, thank you so, so much for being here. Like I said, she has a lot to say, and I wish I had more time with her, but you definitely got to check her out on, um, on her social media platforms because she definitely, um, you know what I love about Miss Allie is that she, she, she's giving a voice to people that are very quiet about what they may be dealing with as far as body dysmorphia, eating disorders, mental health, and that gives other people like me the courage to speak up too so that more people can like reach out for help if you guys are in need, if you're going through a rough time. Um, you know, people mask things very, very well. Uh, you never know what's going on behind. So I just want to help raise people up. So thank you again, Miss Allie, for being here. You guys definitely got to check her out. She has such a big story. She has amazing things. I think she, she's going to be thank doing great goodness. things. 2020, here we come. Oh, so when so we much. come back, we are going to be talking more to Miss Jesslyn. She is a young entrepreneur, model, and all things of that sort. But I'll let her tell you all about it. She's definitely a special girl, and I'm happy to have her here. Make sure you tune in every Tuesday from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. in Chicago. Well, that's Central Time. So that's 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Tuesdays. It's an amazing life we live. I'm Anna helping you live your best amazing life, and we will be right I done did a lot, a lot, you ain't did shit at all Whipping up a pop, pop, show you how to get it off I don't merely rock, rock, I just get the brick across What's up everybody, it's Anna on It's An Amazing Life We Live I'm here every Tuesday night from 8pm to 9pm Central Time Make sure you're following Pop Radio Worldwide on iHeartRadio Spotify Premium and YouTube and tune in again every every Tuesday. Get your two cents on a Tuesday from me, Anna, on It's an Amazing Life We Live. I am back here and we just got to, well, we're not done. We're not done with Allie. You know, you're supposed to stop talking. We're not kicking her out yet. Okay. But um, if you're just tuning in, um, we're definitely going to have some playbacks of this um, I because I know you guys... Um, all need to hear what Ali has to say. If you're not already following her on Instagram and social media platforms, you got to go ahead and do that. She's all about body positivity and mental health awareness, and she's an amazing figure competitor. I'm hoping to see her on stage in 2020. I think so. I think it's going to happen. Uh, I know so. I know so. I can see it now. I have 2020 vision, girl. 
So um, I want to talk to the girl sitting right next to her. Her name is Miss Jesslyn. So go ahead and introduce yourself. Say hello to the people of the world, what you do, and you know what, how people can work with you. Okay, well, my name is Jesslyn Perez. I am an aspiring model, 23. I'm born in Chicago, a little suburb called Berwyn. So I've been there my whole life. Um, right now, I'm working with customer service, uh, getting my degree, and to become a soon business owner. Okay, no doubt. That's what's up. You said you're 20, 23. 23. What kind of business are you thinking about? Um, I'm trying to get into, into the food industry, a restaurant. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, um, that's a great Puerto Rican food. That's awesome. Oh, yes, yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, I second, I second that motion. <laughs> I second that motion. Look, listen. Okay, we're going to talk after the show. <laughs> okay, all right. So, um, you're in school right now. Where do you go to school? Uh, right now I'm at Concordia. Okay, Concordia. And then you work full-time, part-time? Full-time. Full-time, okay. So, and you're an aspiring model, so I'm assuming you have a social media platform that people can contact you in. How can we follow you, Miss Jesslyn? Uh, Instagram and Snapchat, it's it's pretty long. It's a J-E, and there's four S, two U, two L, two Y, and two N. <laughs> I was the only one available. <laughs> Uh, Facebook, Jesslyn Faith Perez, and that's Jesslyn, J-E-S-U-L-Y-N. All right. Well, thank you, Miss Jesslyn. Um, uh, what kind of modeling are uh, do you do uh, at the moment? I was um, right now, I'm barely getting back into it, uh, so I'm open to anything right now, more into the fashion side. Fashion side. Okay, yes. guys, so if you want to book her, go ahead and follow her on her social media platforms. Her name is Miss Justin. She's beautiful. I love those nails, girl. Thank you. Check out the nails. Okay. Yes. <laughs> See, it's called self-care, guys. I know that when, at least for me, we were talking about mental health and, you know, it's cold in the Midwest and sometimes you got to do a little something for yourself. And if your thing is nails and, you know, you're not breaking the bank doing it, but it's a little something you do for yourself, do it. Do it. It's worth it. Investing in yourself is always the best. So any message you want to give to the people, anybody that's going through a rough time and they're trying to make it back into, you know, the business or trying to get their life together, you know, anything that you want to say to people or any advice you want to give? Um, I would say self-love is a really big thing. You know, I know there's a lot of people right now in today's society, there is an image on women. You have to be skinny, fit, and picture perfect uh, so self-love would be a big thing um, learn to love yourself and learn to do things that you love before loving anybody else I would say and um, just to be very strong and positive don't surround yourself with negativity it's not needed love that love that answer so real quick um, just a couple things that I want to touch up on before we go because unfortunately I don't have the whole night guys I only have an hour so I do have to wrap this up but I wanted to ask something to both of you ladies just so you guys can have some little input like what are some people who are some people that inspire you and motivate you when you're having a rough day like who are the people that you look personally look up to that keeps you going and you're like you know what maybe I can do one more lap or I can I can get up today and go to work I don't feel like it like who motivates you um the two big people one would be my mom of course uh raising four children on her own three being boys me the only girl and also a motivational speaker uh Trent Shelton he's I him. someone he's I really yes, look up yes. to how about you, Allie? Who inspires you, motivates you to get up every morning, even if you don't feel like it? Um, I don't know if he inspires me to get up every morning, but he inspires me every day to push a little bit harder. Um, I know it sounds really cheesy, but um, my boyfriend is an amazing person. Um, he's a bodybuilder, and he's super successful, and he just always like constant positivity. And whenever I'm feeling down, he's like, come on, like get up and let's go. Like just constant source. So I think it's really important to have, too, is someone you know is a constant source of positivity. I love that. Yeah, for me personally, I definitely got to give it up to my mom and my dad. They drive me crazy, but I love them. <laughs> I do is for them, my niece and my nephew, you know, my little, my little nuggets 
Um, and you know, my family, all of them are from the Philippines, and also my fit family in my bodybuilding world. Like, all we are all such a big community. Um, and then it's people that I know from all walks of life, different parts of my life, even if I may not be talking anymore. Like, I'm just thankful for everybody, really. Everybody that's been a part of my journey, even if you, you know, some of your stories had to, you know, get cut short in mine, <laughs> you know. So, but all of you guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week so far. A couple announcements before I wrap things up. Next week, I am going to be showing some love to the guys. <laughs> okay. So next week on Tuesday on the 17th, I will have a lady here, another boss queen. Her name is Katrina Farrell. And you may know her as Trina Trina. She does her booty boot camps and all that. She'll be my entrepreneur of the week. She's an amazing athlete as well. Um, next week, I'm also going to have some, you know, there's surprises, but I'm going to have some fellas in here. Because I know I've been bringing a lot of ladies in here. I need to show the guys some love. You know, you guys are getting jealous so definitely tune in every tuesday from 8 p.m to 9 p.m central time go ahead and follow pop radio worldwide it's on iHeartRadio, spotify premium and youtube hit the like hit the subscribe button i'm here every tuesday again it's an amazing life you live helping you live your best amazing life good night guys Hi everyone, um, I just wanted to come in and say um, thank you to Anna here for having me on her show tonight. Um, it's Pop Radio on iHeartRadio. Pop Radio Worldwide. Worldwide. Pop Radio Worldwide on iHeartRadio. Um, I just want to say thank you again for having me. Um, she does a weekly podcast show on Tuesdays to promote health and positivity and wellness. And um, it was really great to be a part of her show tonight. Um, I talked a little bit about my story in it. Um, so if you'd like to check that out, I will be posting the link and you can see what we did tonight. Thank Follow you. Follow her on Instagram. It's Miss Allie Jean. M-I-S-S-A-L-I-G-E-J-E-A-N. And hers is It's an amazing life we live. Yes. So follow, follow us. us and you can see what we have to offer. Thank you. and clips big body chevys now it's foreign whips colombian dime piece right at my hip told me i would make it no way i'd win try to fucking bury me throw me back in no way i ain't going always going in never turning back always watch my back jungle full of monkeys but i'm a silver back do do it for my hand do it for the streets for you hate no surrender no retreat esta vida loca made me a beast no more fucking losing i'm a fucking chief i i, I done did a lot, a lot you ain't did shit at all whipping up a pop i show you how to get it off i don't merely rock rock i just get the brick across take you to the block block my shorties know i've been a boss been a boss chemo solid hard body